Well, guys, we are back in our beautiful world. Thanks for tuning in. This is Impala 100. And we have a little area for potions now because in the last episode, we conquered the nether. And uh, yeah, we made a few brewing stands here. I'm not sure if we brewed any potions yet, uh, but we have our little water area here. A uh, little tiny farm for nether wart. And what is it? Oh yeah, we found a desert. So here's a cactus. We uh, put a potted plant right there. What I want to do to start off today's episode, however, it's going to be jam-packed full of fun stuff uh, for us to do. John Cena. I still do that. <laughs> if you guys are in the live stream, you probably saw that like 20 times. But anyways... What I want to start off today doing is going here. Diamonds. We have plenty of them. And I need to do some repairs. Or I guess repair. No, repairs, plural. Uh, specifically to our diamond shovel and pickaxe here. So we're going to go ahead and make some brand new ones. And yeah, our pickaxe was definitely due here. And then shovel... Just so we don't need to worry about it later. Boom. And then on top of that, I'm thinking maybe we make ourselves another axe. Right? And then we'll do a hoe. Right? And then we will do a sword. How beautiful. Awesome. And, uh, okay, good. I didn't already make these. <laughs> it's good for us to have. I think what we'll do for now... We will place the diamond tools in here and then diamond shovel or sorry, diamond sword right there. This leaves us with 19 more diamonds. And if let's see how many things of armor we can make here. So not a full set yet. And then we're down to three. You guys are wondering, what the heck are you doing? You're wasting all your diamonds. Yes, I know. Um, the reason why I'm wasting all of our diamonds is because I want us to have an excuse to mine some more. So we're going to go ahead and place these in here as well. We found a source of XP, uh, in a zombie spawner, uh, miles away, which we did link up in the nether in the last episode. Uh, we eventually want to make ourselves an XP farm there. But before we do that, I want to make sure we have a good source of diamonds here before we get into the fun stuff. So we're going to make ourselves a diamond mine to start the episode. And I'm thinking we need to venture down into our cave or our mine that we already have and kind of branch off from there for a diamond section. Uh, what I want to do real quick is gather some soul sand because we're going to make a bubble elevator. I think we should also get... a uh, few more buckets that does not hurt and then we also need to go to the ocean to get some kelp because in order to make the bubble elevator we're going to need kelp so uh, this little river here takes us all the way to the ocean if we follow it that way I believe if my memory serves me correctly it's been a while since we did that oh that's a beautiful bridge but yeah let's head out to the ocean get some kelp and then make our way into our mine right there all right, we are making our way down to the mine. We have some kelp in hand and also some torches and some more coal. And we're going to take this way down. By the way, um, we did some repairing on our bow and some fishing. It was honestly so long ago off camera, I forgot what exactly we got. But uh, this is our bow now. We're going to have to take a look at that. I apologize. I try my best to keep you guys updated and not do too much off camera. And I promise it wasn't a lot. Um, but yeah, we... Uh, yeah, um, made a better bow uh, from stuff that we already fished up together. And we have plenty of name tags and saddles. I guess that's the uh, best update I could give you. We'll check out the fishing dock in a second. Or if we if we don't remember to, we'll, we'll do it later. Um, anyways, we're down in our mine here. If you guys haven't seen this before, it's absolutely beautiful. And we need to find a place to dig down from here. We're at 31Y. And we need to get down to negative 54Y. So that's like 80 something blocks. I think we're just going to have enough kelp. So digging down is probably one of the most dangerous things in all of Minecraft. So we're going to have to do this a little bit more tactically. Um, if we're thinking of an area to place this, I'm trying to think what would be cool. Um, so there's our iron mine in case you guys forgot. There's our storage. 
I'm thinking back here in this corner is gonna be perfect for us to dig down at. So our strategy here is we're gonna dig out a three wide tunnel going down to y equals negative 60, negative 54, sorry, because 64 is not possible, I think, right? But we're gonna go down doing this strategy where we dig down three blocks and then we'll pillar up one. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. A little bit of boring stuff here. Um, hoping it stays boring and we don't, you know, fall to our deaths or something. That's not a, that's not a good way to start the episode. And another good reason for us to start branch mining diamonds is because we get probably one of my favorite blocks in the game, Deep Slate. Uh, this is gonna be awesome. I plan on incorporating it in a decent amount of builds. And we might even use it in our build later on today, I'm thinking. Oh! Diamonds, look at that. This is awesome. Also, I was about to say something about tough here, and then we find diamonds. So, um, yeah, tough blocks as well. We haven't used any of the decorative tough, tough blocks yet, and I'm thinking I want to give that a go at some point here. Oh, my gosh, we already have 14 diamonds. Okay, um, well, that was very lucky. Um, but, yeah, we are currently at negative 26. We still have a ways to go here, but this is already paying off. Oh. I've been down here. Oh, don't tell me this is the trial chamber. Oh no, I can't, I can't get rid of this. The trial chamber's right this way. I know exactly where we're at. Yeah, we already found a bunch of diamonds. Okay, we can't forget where we're at, but we found a bunch of diamonds here. Trial chamber's right back there. That is hilarious. Um, But again, it's not really coincidental because this is all right next to our base anyway. So, okay, well, we're going to have to continue digging down here. I'm going to have to fortunately slash unfortunately, um, yeah, block this off here so we don't end up uh, dying whenever we fall down. But that's cool. Okay. Maybe we can make like some sort of formal entrance to the trial chamber, like winding down like a stairway winding down from our mine area. Let me know if you guys think that's a cool idea. And uh, yeah, once we eventually try out the trial chamber for the first time, which we will, um, we'll give that a go. Okay, and this is the last level. We are at Y negative 54, and we're immediately placing down a torch because that was just terrible. <laughs> Going down all the way here. Um, we will do this right here. Um, we'll go one more. We already have iron, look at that. We'd maybe not, we probably don't even need our iron mine anymore to be quite honest, but who knows, maybe we'll still use it, but it was pretty fun to make. Anyways, we need to put this up at this level here, and then we're gonna have to go up all the way with this fun stuff. What we need to do as well is make a pathway going down and up and i'm thinking the down shoot's going to be on the left side here because in case we break that deep slate at some point in the um, cave up there uh, i don't want to have water rush out and ruin everything and then up here or right here is where we're going to have the soul sand bubble vader and conversely we will have this as well oops Maybe, maybe find a different way to do this here. Hold up. Uh, maybe we can't do trap doors. Maybe we're going to have to use the uh, fence or something. And I can't talk. I was supposed to say fence gate there. So let's go ahead, make ourselves some sticks and make ourselves a fence gate. Boom. And if we do this, okay, that's going to work a lot better. Perfect. All right. So now all we have to do is pillar all the way up in the middle here using cobbled deep slate. That's what we're gonna go with. And then after that, we're gonna jump on down and, and do the other stuff here. Do we have, we might actually need water breathing. I think we might actually die. We'll see. Um, I don't know, for content, I guess. <laughs> and I'm thinking up here, we can kind of decorate just a bit down. And when I say decorate, I mean randomly place cobbled deep slates. Nothing crazy, but just enough for it to give the illusion that this is going down all the way. Um, and yeah, we will also 
bring this in right here. Uh, we're gonna have to do some more decorating on our part uh, when it comes to, what is it? Uh, this little area here. I think we're gonna have to raise it by one and then add this cool little path pattern going down this way, maybe scatter a few diamonds there. That'll be cool, we'll see. Anyways, it looks like we need to head down this way here. And then we have another water. This is the whole reason we went down the first way. So we were supposed to place water. Thank the Lord I didn't forget that. So we jump down and not die. Poof, okay. And then water should be coming down shortly. Oh, Lordy, this is going to take a while. Oh, wait, no, it's almost here. Just couldn't see it. There we go. Beautiful. That was right on cue, that music. Okay. Now we need to go all the way up and hopefully not die. It might take two runs. If it don't hurt, you didn't try. Okay, I think we're almost actually up. Oh, no, we're way far. Okay, hold up. Hi. You saw nothing. Oh, goodness. I forgot we were in slime chunks here. It's been a while. Oh, there's our flame bow going to work. I also made a bunch of arrows, by the way. I uh, did some chicken slaying, in case you guys were wondering. Okay. Let's try this again. Part two. We have 28 more kelp. Let's see if this is enough here. That is going to be a toss-up, actually. Oh, lordy. Okay, we have enough, perfect. So now we have a fully functional diamond mine. We go all the way down here. We can take the kelp and the bubble vader starts working. So I'm not really too worried about keeping that kelp there. We might actually need it for our zombie XP farm later. Um, but yeah, I was looking forward very much so to using the bubble vader feature. Now we have that. Now, it's just a matter of mining out some diamonds down here. Um, again, this is really nothing special. Um, but hopefully we find some. I think I'm just going to stick to maybe a 10 minute, 15 minute mining session. I'll set a timer here and we'll see how much we can find. Okay, we're three minutes into our mining journey here. We got one diamond total. But I found something very, very valuable and I was wondering if I'd find it down here. Let's take a look. So, here's some iron. Uh, but this is not an, an ordinary iron vein. This is actually an area, what is it? An iron mega vein, I guess you could say. So all this tough connects these iron blocks together. If you guys have never seen this before, it's a relatively new feature to the game. So this is something we're actually able to excavate. I don't want to do that today, um, but it is noted where it's at right in here. And it's very, very close to us. So if we go down this way, oh, Lordy, here we go. Okay. Okay, Creeper. Uh, yeah, here's our mine. Again, we didn't go too far here. Again, only a few minutes. Um, okay, Creeper, come here. There we go. Look at that. All right. We're going to explore the rest of this cave. Thank you. Okay. I don't think there's too much more to this cave right here. Or maybe there is. Oh, goodness. Okay. Uh, there's zombies up there. All right. Um, should I explore? I'm just going to continue to branch mine, actually. <laughs> We'll give ourselves another five to 10 minutes here, but very, very awesome find there uh, with the iron vein. Okay, including the last clip, we have reached exactly the 15 minute mark. And in that time, I emptied our inventory upstairs, got ourselves an 11 vein of diamonds, which was right back here. Pretty crazy. And then right after that, we ran into another iron vein. It could be the same one though with the proximity here, but this is huge. And so I started excavating it a bit because why not? And we have already over two stacks of iron. We haven't even, you know, started. It's just barely even a start, but we're at 15 minutes. Ooh, can I see? Hold up, ooh, is that a geode up there? Okay, this might be a little cheaty, but Oh no, that's not a geode. Never mind. <laughs> that was the cavern we just dug. Okay. 
Yeah, we're headed back to the surface to move on to the main subject of our episode. So we have a diamond mine now, which is beautiful. We're going to use it. And uh, yeah, we have some diamond tools, a lot more diamonds. We can make full diamond armor and eventually we're going to have a source of XP to where we could fully enchant it all. By the way, here's all of our other stuff here. Let's go ahead and we probably want to consolidate just a bit here. I need to put away blocks, which we'll do real quick. Uh, but the main part of the episode, you probably saw in a thumbnail, we are going to be making a little, or decorate the area around our nether portal. I want to make it look revamped completely, and then I want to make a bridge go in there and maybe connect it up with a path and stuff. So that's what we're going to do here. Look at all of this. This was a very short amount of time. <laughs> And just, uh, what was it? You know, let's say 20 minutes, given that we dug the tunnel down there. 20 minutes of mining, we got all of this here. Just beautiful. We also got some glow squid or glow ink sacks as well, which is pretty cool. So that's something to keep in mind. We're going to head on up to the surface now, get our thoughts together, and get some materials put together uh, for us to begin working on the nether portal area again this is a uh, hundred percent freelance this series is so we're gonna have to think through what exactly we're gonna do there um but i'm gonna get an assortment of nether related blocks just so we're not scrambling for materials okay this wasn't supposed to happen we have a wither skull <laughs> a super scary skeleton okay so let me explain myself. We were gathering materials here. We're actually mining out this little bit here. Oh, we have plenty more stuff down here. I didn't even realize that. Okay. We're going to take this as well. But anyways, yeah, I was mining this out. And I saw ourselves a skeleton and a wither skeleton came out here and killed them. So that's simple. So we have one wither skeleton skull. I was not expecting that. Okay, we are all done with gathering nether brick here. We're gonna make our way upstairs. It looks so different in here, by the way. And it also looks different up here. Take a look at this. Ta-da, look at this. We have dug out quite a bit of space. This is our nether portal spot here. And yeah, we've dug out all of this to get blackstone to get ourselves basalt. Let's take a look at the final number here. Okay, I'd say this is a solid start. Plenty of blackstone. We're gonna use a lot of this, I feel like. Basalt as well, nether brick, and then uh, we might use this other stuff here, but for now, this is a, yeah, a good start. Nether rack, I think I'm gonna do some terraforming around the portal, but first and foremost, we need to decorate the portal itself. And we probably need to sleep here. Let's go ahead and place down a bed here. And let's take a look at this frame here. So this is something we need to restore. And I'm thinking we keep the integrity of this for the most part. There is some stuff like, for instance, this cobblestone here makes no sense. I'm basically trying to pick up all the pieces that have, you know, weathered here over time. Again, it's a ruined portal. So it looks like there's this big frame going around the edge here and it has turned into stairs. I think what we can do is take the stairs out, but also incorporate the cracked stone brick around the edge here. I do like that. I do like that there is moss. And then there's like this little bridge area here that goes up and it looks like even around this way here. So maybe some sort of platform on this level here, uh, where the portal's at. That's where my mind's at. It's gonna be a lot of randomness, I feel like, but we're just gonna go ahead and start placing blocks here. So we're gonna go up all the way this way. Boom, just like this, and this goes all the way around. I'm thinking we need to maybe place some gold right back in here. So there's a start. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that water source left, but at least it didn't, uh, what is it, take out the magma. I was very worried about it taking out the lava here. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, okay. Let's think this through for a second. We probably need to bring down the portal. 
definitely need to bring it, not probably, definitely need to bring down the portal a bit. And it looks like it's kind of like held in place. So maybe we need more iron bars beneath it too. And we could place the bottom portion of the frame right here and then have slabs coming in right here or stairs. Let's take a look at how the stairs look. Probably want the slabs there. Oh wait, no, it's supposed to go down by one. What am I doing? So we're gonna need a stone cutter. We're gonna have to do some work here, but this is gonna be interesting. I've done portal revamps before, but I never really tried to maintain the integrity of it. So I'm gonna try my best to do that here. If it doesn't work, then we'll move to plan B and just make it look like a cool portal. This should be fun. Hopefully it turns out well. Okay, I got carried away, but that's fine. So, here's what we did. Uh, portal revamp. We added this stairway going all the way down with smooth stone on the sides and stone brick. We kept the portal size the same. It turns out I was just overthinking. Uh, we had the correct portal size. And uh, we added this frame around it, which I think looks wonderful with the extra golden block up top. And then on the back side here, which we'll get to everything else here in a second, the back side, we just had a little safe spot here. Um, yeah, utilizing some more of the blocks up front. So we kind of improvised here. Now, we also did some terraforming. This is what we were starting to do and started getting carried away with here. So I wanted to give you all an update on this. So the terraforming, we were just kind of expanding the nether blocks around and we were also adding a little barrier that separates this area from the rest so i had these little basalt pillars this is based off of a world that i had uh, in the last version of minecraft you could actually find it on my channel my last let's play that i did before this one and uh yeah kind of loosely based this off of that um so i think this looks cool it kind of adds a little divider in between here and the forest now what I want to do is connect this with a nether themed bridge going from this area here. We need a pathway, but then it goes over to this side here to, so it connects to our base. So I'm going to sleep real quick. There we go. Wonderful. I'm going to sleep real quick and we're going to get started on that. Okay, so for this bridge here, I was thinking of utilizing nether blocks only. So kind of straying away from this. I want to make one of my favorite blocks of all time, polished basalt. I think these are some of the best pillar blocks in the game. So I want this to line up just perfectly with here. And I'm thinking we want to raise this by three total blocks. I want it to be kind of a dramatic bridge um going over this way it might almost be too dramatic let's maybe lower this by one and then i'm gonna do this on the other side here and i want this to be an even number in between so maybe 10 is the magic number two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen i think 14 might actually be our magic number here okay no big deal and then in between here maybe every four blocks so one two three no, we'll do every three blocks that's actually going to work a lot better so one two three okay so now we have our basalt pillars here next thing i want to do is kind of get the edges going here i'm thinking what we can do on the edges is use polished blackstone. Let's take a stack of these. Actually, we're going to use the blackstone, polished blackstone brick stairs, then polished blackstone brick slabs. Okay, let's give this a go. I'm going to try to add some block variation here. And I'm thinking in the middle here, we do something like this. And I want this to be navigable uh, via boat underneath. So we're going to have to add that as a little arched bridge here, not a flat one, an arched one. Okay, let's take a look at how this looks here. It's too plain. At least I'm honest. I can be like, oh my gosh, guys, look at how cool this looks. No, um, 
This needs some work here. How about this? Let's take out this slab. Let's place that. How does that look? Looks a little bit better, but up top is really what's lacking. So the plan was to add nether brick fences up here. Let's just yeah, place this temporarily. So let's go ahead and do that. Boom. Just like so. So yeah, way too plain, way too plain. So my idea here, we need a more dramatic arch. So this is fine here. We're gonna need slabs. Oh, let's try this here. How does this look? Oh, wow, so much better. Okay. Yep, it's just, uh, it's amazing what a little bit of more curvature can do for you here. So we're gonna go ahead and mimic that on the other side. I think this is a solid design here. And then in the middle, what I want to do is add nether brick. So let's go and take a look at how this matches up with everything else. Okay, not too bad, not too bad at all. And one thing I noticed while we were at the workstation here, I think we could add some differentiation actually with some nether brick walls. So we're gonna make eight of these. I wanna see how this would mix in with fence gates here. Oh wow, interesting. Okay, so it just makes it look... <laughs> I don't know, it, it gives it more of a uh, differentiated look for sure. How about that? That's a good way to put it. Uh, I don't think we're done yet though. Um, we're definitely gonna need to do some more work here, but as far as the shape goes, it's dramatically improved right here, at least on this side here. So let me go ahead, uh, get this kind of completed <laughs> and see how it looks here. So we changed up the design just a bit, but this is looking fantastic. So what did we do? Well, we changed everything to polished blackstone as far as pillars go. Uh, we did not want to use the basalt um, because of how we finished off the tops right here, which we added the chiseled blackstone bricks up here alongside polished blackstone walls with soul lanterns on top. And then on the gates right here, I was thinking of another nether themed block. I realized there really wasn't many trap doors which is what I like to do whenever I do a fence pattern like this. So instead we used gold pressure plates, which is pretty awesome. And if we run like this, we could be super annoying, right? And that's part of our brand, I feel like at this point. Over here, we added some flames because if we ever see these wandering traders, yeah. Some men just like to watch the world burn. That man is me. Oh wait, you have a you have a trait I like. Cherry sapling, hold up. Come here. Okay, good. <laughs> I feel like we need to add some soul sand, like right in here. By the way, get it bubbling just a bit. Yeah, that's a good little detail right there. Look at that, some soul sand. We're just having so much fun with the textures right here. And I'm also thinking we maybe extend these basalt pillars out around this way too to kind of finish it off, have it fully enclosed in this little area. So I think that's gonna be the last step we do here because after that, I mean, this is almost done. On this side of the bridge here, this is gonna be another problem for another day. I'm getting tired, so. <laughs> Wanting to wrap things up here. so. Let me go ahead, uh, finish off the basalt border here so we can take a look at a finished product. Okay, so as the night sky is coming upon us, this is the money shot. Back here, back here, it just looks way cooler what's happening over there compared to up close. And we're not gonna be like up in this area too much. And so that's what I was kind of concerned of or concerned with when building this. And it just looks absolutely fantastic how this turned out. Let's even get a view from our home, our beautiful home, by the way. Um, yeah, this interior, what did I do? 
Did I just take something out of here? <laughs> I, uh, hold up. There was something in here. There's no longer... I'm going crazy. I'm going to leave that and we'll come back later. Okay. Anyways, we were getting distracted here. Let's take a look at how this looks from our... Oh my gosh. Just that little sneak peek. Oh, that's just beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is going to be so sweet. And then we could grow our coastline to go down that way. Wow. That's absolutely fantastic what we did there. I was kind of worried how this would turn out. This is so cool. And now that we got that view out of the way, we're going to sleep here and we're going to call it an episode. So I'm going to gather my thoughts, get a comment ready, and I will meet you at the Enchanted Forest. John Cena. Okay, so today's comment is coming from Jose Ortiz4555. And they ask, quick question, can we period get the or can hold up quick question can period we get period the seed i get it you guys want the seed okay here it is slash seed boom pause the video it's right down there you see that i'm going to make you guys work for the seed just because i'm a troll but thank you guys so much this is an awesome world here and thank you for the comment hose way um, this is an awesome world. I want you guys to all play it, have fun, have a good time. Um, just as a, you know, a courtesy, please no spoilers. No, this is here. This is there. I will remove those comments. So FYI, uh, that will happen. Um, but other than that, feel free to play, uh, share your builds. I'm on the Craftworks SMP discord. So feel free to join that Discord, share your builds, what you come up with in the world. Uh, that would be awesome to see. But that's going to do it for an episode. Thank you all so much for watching another episode. Or thanks for hanging out another time with me on our single player series. That sounds a lot better. Um, that's so cool. Um, I just really enjoy revamping stuff in Minecraft. You know, trying to keep the actual integrity of a build there. Um, make it look realistic like it belongs there right if it was like a generated structure we're gonna ignore these pillagers over here um and i really do believe that this fits that category and it also looks super cool so let me know your thoughts in the comments if you guys also enjoy this if you change anything if you do it exactly the same whatever the case may be that would be awesome but yeah this is just going to give us an excuse as well to fill in everything in between all the space in between here and our base which means we're going to expand and add things out in this area so if you all have ideas i'd love to hear it i have some stuff in mind but you know it's you know not concrete i guess don't mind me i'm just getting thumbnail screenshots no worries at all now that I'm done doing that, thank you all so much for watching another episode with me. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you hated it, leave a dislike and tell me why. This has been Impal 100, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care for now.